I've often tried to think what it might be like to have never farted <laughs> and suddenly have that happen in your 30s, maybe. I just, just had never farted before, and one day the inevitable man... Air is coming out of me. I don't want to be a balloon. Man, if it happened to me, I'd probably use it to try to get out of work, you know? Wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right, boss. I won't be in today. Well, air is coming out of my ass. That's right. No, air, not hair, air. Well, I don't know. I think I might have picked it up from the dog. <laughs> yeah. Ship is fucking cock, sucker, motherfucker. It's his fart, turd, twat. Turd, you can't say turd on TV, but who wants to? I don't care if I ever hear that one again. And twat, twat is on the list because it doesn't mean anything else, you know. No saving meaning. Twat's twat. That right in the twat. Right in the twat. No mistaking that. <laughs> yes, twat doesn't have any other meaning. It's not like, uh, like prick. Prick. You can say prick on television. If it happens to your finger, it's all right. You can prick your finger. Just don't finger your prick. That's all. <laughs> hey, uh... Now, in line with those kinds of words, words that are dirty sometimes and not dirty sometimes, those are the ones that got you in trouble as a kid because you noticed that they had two meanings and you began to make a little pun or a joke and you got caught with it and it was dirty mind. And it's not a dirty mind, it's a okay. little joke, you know. But that's true. The word ball is the two-way word, the non end curse variety of ball that is the most prevalent in that kind of situation. The word comes up more often in real life to make it a double meaning. Uh, ball is, uh, well, every sport is played with a ball, right? Except hockey, and that rhymes with fuck anyway. <laughs> Take your you know, comfort where you find it. No, the word ball is, a, you know, a part of your life as a kid, man. It's one of the early uh, toys, right, man? It's go play with your ball. What? You sure, right? Yes. <laughs> that was confusing. Ball. Ball has three meanings now. Of course, ball also means to fuck, to get laid, to ball, to have ball, to have been balling. Actually, it always meant that. We just didn't know, you know? <laughs> now we know that. Of course, when I was a kid, ball only meant either testicle or small round object you play with. <laughs> right? That's all. Just those two. And uh, it's all right for Kurt Gowdy to say it. All across the nation, Johnny Bench has two balls on him. <laughs> Fine. No problem there at all. The whole country nods in agreement, right? Shit, I figured him for two, you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That whole team, I think. Well, he cannot, however, although he can say that, turn to his sidekick, Tony Kubek, and say, Tony, I think he hurt his balls on that play. He's holding them, by God. Well, that's true, Kate. Generally, when they hurt their balls, they hold them. He's holding his. He's hurt his balls. Thank you, Tony. This team has been plagued with ball injuries this spring. Johnson pulled a ball the other day. Jameson has a sprung ball. Nicholas woke up with a tight ball this morning. Williams has a twisted ball from last week. Never hear about those injuries. They call them groin injuries. It's a groin injury. I never knew where my groin was when I was a kid. Did you? Where the hell's my groin? Is it dirty? Do you cover it up? Put your groin away. Wow. What the hell? Where does my groin end and my loin begin? I know I have them both. I just don't have any dotted lines like a cow picture. Where the hell are they? Just tell me what to cover. I don't mind. Yeah, groin. They pull their groin muscles. If I pulled my groin muscle, they'd have my ass out of the stadium in no time. These guys sitting around big stars pulling their groin muscles on the weekend. Well, anyway, there is an overlapping. There's a confusion about sex and violence. Some folks don't know where one ends and the other begins. It's sex and violence. Sex and violence. A lot of people run around trying to stamp it out like it's all one thing. What are you doing trying to stamp out sex and violence? 
Starts at an S, ends in an E. There's an overlapping, there's a gray area that some folks don't understand. Even folks who like those things together think of them as one, sex and violence. Some people like, as you know, violence with their sex. I don't care for that myself. I like my violence a little earlier in the afternoon. <laughs> but it's true that there's a confusing area. I mean, even a little child might make a mistake when he's too young, wandering into the bedroom. Oh, daddy's winning! It has the look of competition. So it got confusing enough to people that someone finally had to sort it out and said, Make love, not war. Get it? <laughs> we said, huh? Make love, not war. A guy finally sorted it out. Probably a lady. It sounds more like a lady's thing. I don't know why. Make love, not war. Why must there always be killing? That was it. Oh, shit, if I had thought of that phrase, make love, not war, I would have retired that day if I thought of that. Wouldn't you? I wouldn't expect to be able to top myself later in life. That would be it. Go out with a biggie. I think I'd, you know, just leave my car at the red light, man. That's it. I'm going to the beach. You guys got to make love, not war. See you later. Boom. And be gone. Well, I have a little phrase of my own. Make fuck, not kill. It's not as graceful a phrase, I know. But I'm not looking to retire at this time. Make fuck, not kill. Deals with just what we call those things, not what they are. Let the experts and behavior folks work on those what they are. I just like what we call them. Fucking and killing. And you got fucking and killing. I say, let's change the words around. If language is our servant, let's put this one bitch to work. Let's go fucking killing and killing fucking for about a month and a half. Just long enough to confuse us a little about which one we really fear and want. To, right? Fucking and killing. Just anywhere you see them. Movies. The movies would be great. Better get down off the hall, Sheriff. We're fixing to fuck you now. What's this? Mass fucker still on the loose? Man fucks three? Self. No, I think we got him now. He made his first big mistake. He fucked a cop. Yeah, he's a cop fucker now. <laughs> Every cop in the state will be looking for him. Okay, thank you, Dan. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, my horse broke his leg. I'm going to fuck him. I'll be right back. Excuse me. <laughs> Shamu the fucker whale. So all I'm saying, I guess, really, is that fuck you is a positive phrase. It's just a way of making, you know, direct verbal love from across the street. Next time you hear it, feel that way. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight and being part of this. I hope we all get to see it. I love you. Fuck you. See you later. Bye-bye.